You know, a, a record that get overlooked. You you was on a joint with um with Kanye. That um what was it? Drop Dead Gorgeous joint. How how did you and Kanye even hook up? Um, right after his accident, he stayed in the W Hotel for about six months to a year. Um, recording mixtapes, um, just taking meetings and just doing, he was producing from there. So like he produced uh, a lot of the, the uh, um, Beanie Siegel and them albums and stuff like that while he was in there. Um, and he was working on his own stuff. So that was a mix. We was going, every time we leave the hotel, we just see him all the time. So it was like one day he just told us, come up. You know what I'm saying? We came upstairs. And that was the first what, time what I seen. What hotel was this? W Hotel, LA, California. In LA. Hold on. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm and I'm so sorry. Yeah, wait, to what's that? Westwood? What's that? What's that right there? Um, right there by UCLA. West, I, I, West, I, I, I you're don't not, know. He's New York, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm New York. Yeah, but anyway, that's why I felt it didn't matter anyway. But it was the <laughs> W Hotel, <laughs> and we just kept bumping into them, you know what I'm saying? Kanye and his peoples, and um, went up there, went up to his room, and realized, oh, boy, <laughs> he had a house up there. I was like, you got a house on top of the W. You telling me you just going to stay in this big room and literally pay for that. What did y'all do? Who paying for this? You know what I'm saying? No, like, but that's that is exactly. And I'm so crazy. sorry to cut in. That's why I asked you what hotel because yeah, it was the W. It, it was the W, and he literally had like a baby apartment up there. You know what I'm saying? If he's in New York, if he was in New York, he had a high rise. Like, but he was in LA, so it was kind of it felt small. You know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, uh -huh. he had the big room in W, and sheesh, he was up there recording. That was my first time seeing somebody record in a hotel. So all that everybody doing right now with the laptop and that boom, yay first. He he saw your boy at that. Yeah, you talking about me uh, seeing it? Cause let me let me take that back. <laughs> Cause somebody else could have been doing that. He could probably learned it from somewhere else too. But when I tell you he had all the equipment in there to at least make a mixtape, he probably didn't record his album stuff in there. Didn't want to. So when I got up there and we just you know we did a lot of freestyle, a lot of talking and things of that nature. Um, I hopped on a couple of them. Um. I was one of them ones. I'm one of them ones that you throw on a beat, it takes me nothing to write, and I want to get on the stuff now. I want to create the song now. I'm one of them ones. So he he just threw that thing out there, and I hopped on it real quick. Didn't know what it was going to do or where it was going to be, who album it was going to be on, or none of that stuff. Next thing you know, he dropped a mixtape pre his album. And remind you, I heard through the wire. I heard through the wire. So that was before, because first of all, I don't know Kanye as producer. I ain't know he's from Chicago. I didn't know nothing. I heard of the name before like that, but I didn't I didn't know he was that big in Rockefeller like that, like, mm -hmm, like move. Mm -hmm. So at the time, you know, we don't you don't got only thing you got is a little TV. You don't ain't no social media, ain't none of that. Ain't nobody calling nobody. You half don't see the artist that you're gonna see. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know. Come up there, it's like they was like, you the producer. And I'm like, what beats? I found out what songs he did. And I'm like, damn, this boy got a resume. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they come to find out, this boy flow better than he fake beats. Y'all kidding me out here. What is going on? But at the time, his mouth, he still was going through the mouth stuff. And his mouth, it wasn't wired shut. But he he literally couldn't talk like that for real. You know what I'm saying? He was kind of talking outside his mouth. So he was kind of, you know, it was funny looking for real. We could join if we wanted to at the time. It was just like a lot going on. We didn't know. Heard through the wire, figured out, found out the man had an accident. The whole thing, he been talking like this, and that's why his face was swollen like that the whole nine, bro. I was like, dang, through the wire might be one of the best songs I've ever heard prior to it coming record. out. To, let me say that, yeah. prior to something coming out, like, how did you create that, bro? What did you, what you, and that's magical. And I've been rapping like that ever since. Truth will set you free, bro. In music. Truth will set you free. That man didn't do nothing but speak the truth real quick. There you go. And yep. it was out of here, bro. He changed Rockefeller mind. He changed whatever, Def Jam mind. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who was hating on him. So that that's that was crazy. But yeah, I did that song then. Didn't know where it was going to come out at. And uh, right before he dropped his album, he dropped the mixtape. And everybody was hitting me like, yo, you on Kanye? You on Kanye? I was like, shit, yeah, yeah, I ain't. I, ain't know what it, I didn't know what verse it was. Like, cause I said I did like three or four of them, so I didn't know which one he put out there. And uh, that was it, man. That was pretty dope, though. I was so glad to be a part. But what I did, I did get fooled, though. I thought that song was on the album. 
<laughs> I thought it nah. would be. Because back then, we used to drop a mixtape, and we'll put like three of our songs that we promoting on the, you know what I said, that's going to be on the album. Cause mm -hmm. this this promo this mixtape mixtapes used to be promo for your album. Sometimes they used Correct. to do a, uh, you remember they used to do the little short versions where the songs be cut, yeah, right, yeah, boom, yeah. and then or you could do a mixtape and get yourself some promo. He was doing the mixtape and he had hella songs like twenty five songs, it hella songs on there. And I thought I thought the album song was gonna be on the album, but it wasn't. I was tripping. Nah, but you know, <laughs> if 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 you could find that mixtape, that mixtape was crack, man. Oh, it's like, out there. like that mixtape was dope that he put out back then. And, you know, it, that really launched his career. So when a star came into that W, had him come upstairs. Mm. He the first Khaled. He the first one to say, come up here and do this verse for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, flat out. <laughs> we all went up there, too. Nobody said no. All right. Uh, again, you riding high, the Ticks riding high, Nelly riding high. Literally. And around that same time, the Midwest... Midwest is 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 on fire. Um, Chingy, his jackpot album come. I, I, I think it dropped. It was something like number two on Billboard, right there. Hit single, going crazy. Was you shocked? Like yo, like that's that's that little dude. That that's that's homeboy who was running around here doing nah. all these. By then, by then he was he was with us. He was on the road with us, so it, it oh. wasn't it wasn't that dude then. Cause actually, be right before that, he was in a group with one of with Ali's little brother. So he was he was around. Like we took him on tour and stuff like that. Like it wasn't like it wasn't like um when we was in when we was younger, you know. When we was twelve and thirteen. We was looking at him at Saints, like the skating rink and stuff like that, in, in the talent shows, and we was in them too. You know what I'm saying? But then when we got older, once we got on. He was in a group with Ali little brother. So my little brother had a group. Ali little brother had a group. All of them opened up for us on um on a couple tours. A couple big tours. 